hello everyone uh, in this video tutorial we're gonna learn what is array so what is array so uh, what is array 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 is array creates copy of objects arranged in a pattern arranged in a systematic pattern so uh, there is four types of array three types of array sorry first rectangular second path and third polar so first uh, I am taking rectangular array. So what is rectangular array is it distributes objects copies into a combination of row, column and levels. So for this I am making a rectangle of 100 by 100 So here it is my rectangle. So now, if I am uh, doing a rectangular array with this, so selecting my rectangular array, then select my object, then press enter. So it will. Uh, it, it is. Uh, so uh, it creates random rectangular pattern. So you can uh, you can edit this uh, from here. So if you want uh, number of columns according to you, so now I'm taking uh, number of column five instead of four. So this is five, and if I want number of rows five, so this is my fives. So here it is my five columns and five rows, and now uh, I want to change the between distance so what is this distance is it is a distance from one object to uh, from midpoint of one object to midpoint of another object so if it is 150 so what is 150 uh, let's see I'm making a line from one uh, midpoint of one object to midpoint of second object now checking a distance of this line it is 150 so now you can now you can understand uh, now uh, you can see so now what is total distance is total distance uh, in column is the distance from midpoint of first object of this column to the end object of this column so now you can choose it is it is showing 600 so now I'm making a line from midpoint of this object to midpoint of this object and checking this length it is showing uh, 600 so now you can understand what is the total length now uh, this is my column and this is my rows okay now what is levels L for levels if, uh, if uh, now I, I am uh, now here uh, now the uh, here is one level if I am change this level to yeah, three. Now change the distance from one to hundred, uh, or uh, okay, ten. Then press enter. So you can see uh, no changes here. If you rotate your workspace slightly, you can see. Here it is my three levels. This is my first level, second level, and third level. So now you can understand what is level so so uh, this is your rectangular array it will create an uh, it will create the copy which is in uh, which is in the form of a rectangle so now move on the next array 
which is path array so I am deleting this for path array uh, you, sh uh, you have to create a path then an object then it will automatically uh, arrange the object along this path so for path I am taking a spline so uh, this is my path and this is my circle okay now uh, choose the second one the path array for path array uh, first you have to select your object so this circle is my object and then press enter now select the path which is your curve path okay now you can see uh, this is a random uh, a random array so if you want to edit this so number of circle is 11 so I want to uh, I want to I want 8 circle so for 8 you have to change the distance between so what is the distance between is the distance is from f uh, center of the first circle to the center of the another uh, 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 next circle so if uh, if I am changing this from 114.47 to 47 to uh, 120 or uh, 140 so you can see uh, while I'm changing the distance between the objects the number of items is also changing so both these are related to each other so if you change the items then uh, between distances change if you change the distance then item number of items will change so uh, here uh, here this is uh, this item uh, window is locked for this you have to change this from measure to divide when you select divide now you can change the number N uh, now you can change the number of items uh, if you want uh, suppose if you want 15 items and now uh, type 15 then enter okay so you can see now uh, there is number of circle is 15 so and the uh, distance is changing okay now uh, move uh, the total distance is the uh, the curve length from the center of this circle to the center of this last circle now move on rows uh, uh, here it is a one row only so if uh, if I am if I am change this from one to three now press enter now you can see my number of rows is changing from 1 to 3 this is my 1 row 2nd and 3rd uh, level uh, as I show you before it will create the levels in Z direction uh, for that you have to change your uh, view uh, workspace for row you can change the uh, l l uh, distance between the two consecutive uh, circles according that your total uh, distance is also changed uh, if I am uncheck this uh, line items you can see the the alignment of circles is a little changed so this is your path here now move on the next option which is uh, which is your polar array for polar array uh, first I am making a line of any dimension so this is my line now uh, pick the polar array option first you have to select your object then press enter then select the base point 
I'm now I'm selecting this as my base point. So in polar array, so uh, in polar array it distributes uh, object copies in a uh, circular uh, in a circular manner. So you can see uh, this is my source object and the copied object are in circular way with some uh, with some angle between them so now here uh, you can change the number of items here it is the number of items is 6 if you want 12 then press uh, then enter 12 ok it is taking a time so uh, you can see the number of items now is 12 so according the number of items the angle between two uh, alternate lines uh, sorry two consecutive lines will also change uh, uh, now uh, if if i am if i am uh, if i am change the number of items now 12 to 15 so you can see the angle between also changed okay before uh, when the number of items is uh, 12 when the number of items was 12 then the uh, then uh, the angle between was 30 now it is changed third uh, now it is changed 24 changed to 24 what is fill angle is uh, if the fill angle is 360 degree then it will create complete rotation uh, if you are if you are changing this 360 degree to 180 now you can see my rotation is now half okay so this is my uh, polar array thank you